Shields recharging. Shields up. That was close. Yeah, and I was shooting through the rock. Funny. Funny, but totally wrong.
Man, this is like. It's taking forever. Yeah. I think that weapon velocity change makes a difference. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. There we go. Good job. You want to do some subcomponent targeting? Uh, real quick first. Okay. Uh, before I stop the video. For reintegration. What are your thoughts? Um, weapon velocity changes aside, I think it's a long fight, just Aegis like fix v fixed. fixed. Um, that might be Systems due to the weapon velocity changes, but um, it it's more separated. It distances each other like we're we're definitely a lot farther apart from one another um, when we're fighting because we're trying to get that uh, that pip to be angled perfectly within the circle. I noticed that. Um, it it seems like if I strafe away from your fire up down side to side doesn't really matter. If I'm strafing away from it, it's on the opposite end of the pip or reticle. Um, I think that definitely helps in the evasion portion of it. I I don't I don't know. I mean, it's it lasted longer, gives me hope for evasiveness. Um, it wasn't as immediate. Yeah, but if one of us had been trying to aim fixed weapons that whole time, like it wouldn't have. That would have been ridiculous. You know. Yeah. I think... And I mean, by default, flying a hornet, I'm in the habit of backpedaling. Yeah. Uh, even from previous patches. So uh, that was kind of my tactic as well, is just, just kind of swing out, backpedal a little bit, get the pip lined up, and, and, and lay into you as much as I possibly could. And I also had to be mindful of my evasiveness. I can do barrel rolls all day and manage Gs, but quite frankly, if I'm looking at the reticle, that ring around the center, if it's not solid, it's not acquiring you. And that's my fault. That's not your fault. That's my fault. Yeah. I think um, what I, I I was during portions of that trying to get closer to you and trying to do something other than just stay at distance or joust mm -hmm. and shoot at you. But like there, there's really no way for me to get up close to you without exposing myself to fire. Yeah, no. Like there... I could not figure out a way to do it. I think that's that's the biggest thing is like there's no There's there's maybe, a happy maybe medium. I just haven't figured out how to do it. Like there were a few times I kind of was able to do it, but yeah. I, I basically took some hits while getting close to you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and there is a happy medium to be had. I mean, um it, it's uh you can get super super close and it makes me uh it makes it almost impossible for me to actually get an auto gimbal lock on so i end up having to switch over to um just you know acquiring the pip naturally but um in order to get there you have to close and in order to close you have to actually straighten out your pip and that allows me to get a lot of really good shots especially on the nose yeah it's it's tough it's gonna be tough countering this type of gameplay it, it and it has its weaknesses like i said i i couldn't be as maneuverable as i can be uh to be evasive because it also affects my pip uh so your evasiveness affects my pip but my evasiveness affects it almost 10 times more just because i'm the source yeah, i am the, yeah. the biggest deficiency that i could give to my auto gimbal uh by doing barrel rolls by doing constant you know evasiveness um yeah. and that that's seen incredibly uh it, it's it's incredible incredibly prominent on the approach because if you're approaching you're at 200 meters per second on the average ship right combat ship anyways and you're you're rolling as you approach and you have an offset so you're barrel rolling when you're barrel rolling that pip just cannot keep up i couldn't get a tar target acquisition to save my life because both of us are rolling pips are going crazy and there's really no way to hit each other unless we're actually actively tracking each other's pip yeah i think the requirement to have both the target and the pip 
in the cone. I don't think people realize how restrictive that is. But it might not be, I thought at first it was restrictive in a good way, but maybe it's restrictive in a bad way because it's basically making it so that all I want to do is stay farther from you than I normally fly when I'm like trying to aim with fixed weapons. Yep. And that's, and... that's exactly why I said that the fight was further apart because both of us are trying to do that at some point. Yeah, but you would think like you want the pip line, the lag line to be short you would want to be closer, but it's actually what you want is you want that, you know. No, you want to just straighten yeah. out the combat line. Yeah, you're basically trying to fight in a line to make it, yeah. to make it work right. You move away from the circle strafe, which is a circle, of course, and you move towards more boxy, linear combat. Yep. And I think that might be the goal of, of CIG is just to have more linear combat uh, well, from I, from I an objective they, standpoint, I I think they want they probably want a mix, but I think they want, based on what I've heard, at least some positional combat, which means not pointed at each other the whole time. Yeah, but yeah. there's there's no way to get there with this right now. Like, yeah, I, think I mean, this, I think this makes it worse. It it's definitely tough to assess. I mean, honestly, I I I hope that. 3.5 stays in a malleable state like it is now and that we have constant iteration on it for as long as possible because of that. Yeah. We need time with this new system. We need time to evaluate it even more. Okay. Anything else before I shut this off? Uh, no. I mean, yeah. I love and, and automation that, you know, in a lot of games. Yeah, know that hundreds of people will judge you based on what you say, right? I'm <laughs> just joking. Yeah, I like I I love the the concept of automation in in a lot of different aspects in video games, um, especially when it's allowed either through macroing or like an actual game mechanic, something like that. I'm always like in an MMO that the the pet owner, you know, like I I always like to seek pets on things because they can damage them for me or whatever, and that's fun for me. That's fun to automate that type of process. I was thinking maybe. Automate some turrets. Automate some, you know, shield control with some blades. That's perfectly fine. I got no problem with that. But the auto gimbal kind of took me by surprise and took me aback. I thought they were only ever going to implement it on turret gameplay just to improve it and make it a little bit easier for people and make turrets just that much more devastating because of it. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Like, this is an entirely different application that I thought was going to happen and a lot sooner than I was and I thought it was going to happen too. So I hear you. All right. Anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. Shutting it off.